Hi, Misha here, and as I teased in the SLR 104FR video, the PSA 74 is back from Palmetto State Armory. And we're about to take it to the range and run some rounds through it. But I thought before we did that, we would just kind of look at it as received from them again what they did and did not do according to the email <clears throat> and i'll post it in the description they did not just replace the firing pin they say they replaced the entire bolt which is logical but then they replaced the barrel and at least some of the barrel components barrel hardware which kind of sounds honestly i'm not sure maybe trunnion <clears throat> i'm not really sure on an imported ak you would have a serial number here on the trunnion but on this gun <clears throat> it's on the uh, underside so anyway this is uh, before we've run any rounds through it as it came directly from Palmetto State. Looking at it here, they did <clears throat> make the stock tighter. It does have a little play now. Even up down. But it's not as bad as it was. So we'll see after shooting it if it stays at a minute level like this or it gets worse. <clears throat> Another thing, the top cover. The rear fits pretty normal. The front has some play. That's pretty typical, but the one kind of unusual part, it has a lot of front back play on the cover. Now some even imported AKs can have some, but this has enough I can get my fingernail in here. And if I press this Take down, catch in. This is how much we're dealing with. <clears throat> now, guys, I am really not trying to nitpick. But when people review imported AKs, say the Polish Burial or an Arsenal. They do this kind of thing, looking at rivets. And to the credit of this gun, the rivets are nice. And the finish is even. Another thing they did fix, this gas tube lever is nice and tight now. You still, you can kind of move it, but when it's in its detent, you're not moving it with your finger now. That's good. So that means your gas tube is pretty secure, but it too has play. Now I've seen imported AKs, even nice ones, with some play too. So not a deal breaker, but front, back, and up, down play. I'm trying to be fair. No play in the lower handguard. Which is, I've seen play in the lower handguards of imported AKs, even high-end ones like, say, Chinese. Or what people consider high-end these days. <laughs> so here it is. Pretty normal there. Let's take it apart. And look on the inside before we go to the range. So here we are. And 
I don't suspect there <clears throat> really should be much to see. Here's our bolt group. The piston head does show some wear. Normal, nothing bad. Which means this is probably the same bolt carrier as when we originally did it. Now, on my personal channel, I did a little disassembly and I noticed something a little unusual that I honestly don't remember it doing the first time. But this is a new bolt. If you <clears throat> fully pull it back and rotate it, it doesn't want to come out necessarily. You kind of have to push it forward a bit and then it rotates out. No real major peening on the tail from earlier. Just a little bit normal. All AKs get somewhere there. Here's our brand new bolt. Nice free floating can't make it stick forward firing pin and you can tell it's a new bolt because it doesn't have the kind of odd wear pattern that the other one had so that is what we have folks by the way like a lot of usak's the piston has no flex in it a true military ak would have a little flex there just for reliability nothing special with the dust cover or uh, wherever I threw the recoil spring doesn't matter <laughs> nothing special there so yeah this is the before I truly do not know how this is gonna go at the range and for what it's worth I really am rooting for this firearm to pull through sincerely and truly i am with that let's get to it and see how well wishing in one hand works out for us i'll catch you on the other side all right first shots out of the psa If you want to aim up a little higher, you can. You're shooting the dirt. Oh, well, you wanted to get rid of those ar armadillos. What's that? You wanted to get rid of those armadillos. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Okay. You stop it. Now let's try the PSA with the factory mag pull. I didn't load too many rounds in it because I'm not really sure I trust it. We're good. Let's give the PSA another go. All right, we're at 120 now. PSA. PSA. And that would be 
180 now. PSA, last mag of the day. Interesting. Trigger didn't reset. Or maybe I just get overly excited. Well, there we have it, 210. And now the after. Uh, apologies that there's a cat and no mic, but we're tired and it's starting to storm here. So here's the gun. The good news, it's together. The stock hasn't really acquired any more wobble. Gas tube. So it's still a little loose, but the lever is still tight. Top cover has the play like we talked about, but it hasn't worsened. Magazines are fine. So let's take a look inside real quick at the filth left behind by 200 some odd rounds. There's that. Bolt grip and check out the inside there a bit. As far as the bolt group, of course, we have a good bit of carbon built up now after today. No whirl, a little, maybe slight progression on the peening there, but nothing, nothing too bad at all. This still is being ornery about wanting to rotate out like we talked about before. You need to push it forward just a bit. The good news, the firing pin is not sticky at all. The only thing I noticed, it does have kind of that same minor edge wear that the first bolt got. I think really what it is, they need to kind of shave that down a bit because from the factory when this is new it's a very sharp edge and they might need to just machine that down a bit I'm not even sure what that wear is from maybe the hammer that we noticed it on that first gun as well first bolt but uh, let's see lugs Seem fine. There is a little bit of flaring there on this lug. Yeah, I mean, it worked. We had that one uh, minor hitch you saw on the shooting. We did look at the round afterwards, and it was cratered some. And we did put it back in the gun and did fire. So it's possible for the over penetration of the firing pin, they went the other direction, maybe just a little bit, and the firing pin's hitting a little shallow. But uh, that was about halfway through the shooting. There was no reoccurrences. We can chalk, chalk it up to being a fluke, I would say. And there we have it. This will be going to a friend, so as he continues to shoot it, I'll have him give me progress reports. Sorry, it was only 200 some odd rounds, guys. It was storming today. We did, we shot this in between rain showers, so we were pretty limited on, on time and everything else. But we did want to get to this to give the PSA 74 a fair shot. No pun intended, again after our last video. Something I promised them we'd do. Why don't you look at the back there for mating up. And it certainly performed better. Last time it didn't even make it to 100 rounds before we had issues, barely even 50. Now we're over 200 with only one minor issue. Not what I would consider an endurance test, but what I would consider a good start. 
So we'll keep you up to date if there's any more developments on this gun. It does seem like Palmetto State, I don't know why I did that, it is uh, kind of doing a Gen 2 now. It does seem like they have reworked the bolt. Like I said at the beginning, they replaced not only the bolt with all of its components, but the barrel and presumably trunnion as well. So it does seem like they have reworked the design a bit, at least as of May 2021. All right, guys, uh, we'd love to hear your own results with your own PSA 74s. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Please do post them. And as always, if you'd like to support the channel, please check out the link to our Patreon page. And with that, I'm going to go have dinner. This is Misha. Catch you very soon next time.